So now that we know how to store information about music scores, we go on to see what information we actually have stored for our music. Data for OMR has for a long time been big bottlenecks. So there, as you've seen in other um, communities of uh, music information retrieval, music has a certain you know, copyright and therefore it's hard to publish these things. Uh, actually, this has been less of a problem in the last few years. We've been quite lucky in that regard. Um, so I've collected a list of over 20 freely available um, datasets for optical music recognition on this website. It's a, basically just a GitHub page. Um, and they are freely available for research, so you can basically go there and pick whatever task you want to solve download the appropriate data set and try to train on that data set. So, for example, if you want to do symbol classification in your application, um, there's, for example, the handwritten online music symbols data set, the Muscima++ data set, and so on and so forth. I'm not going to read all of them. And if you want just to have a big bunch of data. There is also a collection which collects all of these. There's this universal music symbol collection which consists of 90,000 music symbols, handwritten and uh, typeset and you can kind of filter out which symbols you want to have in there or what not. So go ahead and use them for training, uh, for example, a like deep convolutional neural network. For music object detection, there are three datasets already available. Um, the Muscima++ dataset, the Capitan collection, and the Deep Scores dataset, all with different um, kind of precursor. One of um, handwritten, uh, modern notation, printed, modern notation, or handwritten, um, mensural notation, if I um, remember correctly. And they're quite extensive already, so you can actually train some, some useful stuff on these things. And there are even a few datasets already available for this end-to-end -end recognition that we've been talking about previously. So there is the Muscima++ dataset that you could kind of tweak to do end-to-end -end recognition. There is the Primus and the Camera Primus dataset, where the second dataset of these will be presented tomorrow. Um, and there is even some really cool thing which is going, which hasn't been uh, published yet, but it's going to be really cool. It's a synthetic handwritten dataset. So you basically come up with um, some information. So you want to have an F-clef and an accidental, and you can render it to look like handwritten music scores, which is really useful because then you can generate a whole bunch of data that you can actually use for your training. So stay tuned, this website will list it as soon as it's being published. Finally, there is a whole bunch of like things that are going in, in sort of other directions but are still kind of related to um, OMR. For example, this uh, multimodal dataset by Matthias Doffer. Um, it's being published also, I think, at Ismir now. Yeah. So, and it contains um, more than 300,000 aligned notepad MIDI events with the respective scores. So, you can do some score following, for example, with this to kind of find out. Um, how to you know score follow from audio or from media.